don't know why we stopped. Hmm. Huh. Something happened. Be right back. <sighs> Yay. Oh, we are all tangled up. Sorry if I was uh a little off on the window. Hope we weren't too bad. The way you backhanded that guy with your shield and then damn near chopped him in half. Hey, are you as turned on as I am right now? Am I what? That's probably impossible anyway. Uh. Uh. Oh. Okay, there's nothing else in here for us. Let's get the heck out of here. Greetings to you. Oh, this race will never be on our way. Harold, you're at home. I've destroyed the demons on your sacred ground. Yes, but our hunters watched you from afar, and they know you defiled our graves, and that you stole a relic, and with it broke open the vault at Unadin. But I shouldn't expect an outsider to understand. The demons are gone, and we should be thankful. A small token of our gratitude, then. Now, let me share something else. There are strange glyphs inscribed in the stones of this place. Revealed only with field fire, although they are elven in origin, I cannot make out their purpose. Perhaps they will mean something to you. Another time. Please, if you see my brother out there, tell him to return to camp. You okay, babe? What's wrong? We're back, guys. We'll make up the time.
We sat down and we almost ate it. Granted, you know, soft landing. I'd have probably smacked my head on the corner of my desk though. My baby girl's upset. Okay. We just may want our speakers. What? What? Babe, leave it in there. Hold on, guys. Anyway. It's good to see you again. To see us again. Another time. Let's do Added glyphs. Oh, really, what is Back. So, put that on our highlighted marker. River Highway. So, uh, there's a developer I see every now and then jump into Burke Black's channel. Named Bio Admiral X. And, uh, he's beaten this game. He's, uh, one of the developers for this. He beat it in like four or six hours. It was ridiculous. Something crazy. But he literally went and did just only the main quest of the game, and then that was it. Like, beat this game like it was nobody's business. Something oh, serious.
dropping that loot. We are going to go back to Skyhold, sell everything we don't need, and then come back, because we can fast travel straight there, basically. Not a big deal. Uh-oh. I've heard of Warden Black. Ah, come on, Krim. I'm working my ass off trying to get you to see that move. You still got plenty of ass left, Chief. Uh, your worship. Glad you came by. I got a letter from my contacts in the Ben Hasrath. Already verified it with red. What did the letter say? The Ben Hasrath have been reading my reports. They don't like Corypheus or his Venatori. And they really don't like Red Lyrium. They're ready to work with us, with you, boss. The Kunari and the Inquisition, joining forces. That could be a powerful alliance. My people have never made a full-blown alliance with a foreign power before. This would be a big step. They found a massive Red Lyrium shipping operation out on the coast. They wanted us to hit it together. Talked about bringing in one of their dreadnoughts. Always wanted to see one of those big war ships in action. <laughs> That's my Did nose. Did you see that? Go get some water. They're worried about tipping the smugglers, so no army. My chargers, you, maybe some backup. What does this alliance really get us? They wouldn't use the word alliance if they didn't mean it. Naval power. More Ben Hasrath reports. Kunari soldiers pointed at the Venatori. It could do a lot of good. You don't seem entirely happy about this. No, I'm good. It's... Uh, I'm used to them being over there. It's been a while. I thought the Kunara wanted to extend their reach to the whole world. Yeah. Just didn't think I'd see it. Look, the Kuhn answers a lot of questions. It's a good life for a lot of people. But it's a big change. And a lot of folks here wouldn't do so well under that kind of life. I guess it's not like we're converting. This is just us joining forces against Corypheus. On that front, I think we're good. I think the Inquisition could use some help from the Kunari. Good. I'll pass on word to Colin and Red. We can set up the meeting whenever you're ready. Heck yeah. Hmm. 
wonder if we can do anything else now with people. Test it out. I wonder Switched who over to try and get a Sarah instead of uh, Cassandra. For he knows right. well, as well Cassandra doesn't like the fool who did. Your wish is something, something. I'll be back if I need you. Go on. What do you mean? Hang. It was just, uh... Call it. Regular dialogue. But I guess the crazy one... Watching us on his mobile. I guess he's at work. Hold on, guys. On my nose again.
I keep forgetting to put my earphone in for game sound. There you are. Something to be delivered post. Oh. That's fast, then? Yes, yes, that is fast. It could... Alright, let's go upstairs and turn in all of our research items. Here is the request Harriet made. Are there any special in No, I would have stated as much. Yes, of course. I'll be quick. Of course you will. You're a runner. You may depart in a moment. Oh, good. Look at all that stuff. A request has been made of you, Inquisitor. Here it is. What is your evaluation of how we're doing? I am able to pursue my duties with optimal efficiency, thanks to Skyhold's present state. As you were? Yes, Inquisitor. The Inquisitor's work is never done, I see. You said Alexius was a mentor of yours. He was my patron, sponsoring me to the higher levels of the Circle of Magi. In return, my successes were his. I had a lot of successes, naturally. Alexius was most pleased. He and I used to talk over Brandy about the corruption, how we could one day make real change in the Imperium. And then he... gave up. He stopped trying. Why did he give up? On a journey to Hosburg, a darkspawn raid killed his wife and sickened his son. I remember hearing the news. He hadn't been there, you see. Alexius was convinced he could have protected them. And the guilt tore him up. I helped him with his research for a while and then we... drifted apart. Hmm. Huh. That must have been difficult. Back then, I was furious. I told him to snap out of it, move on. I thought I had all the answers. Later, I regretted my hasty words. But we didn't speak again until he approached me for the Venatori. Too much pride, I suppose. Plus, I was busy drinking. One must have priorities. <laughs> busy drinking. Was it hard being away from him? It was hard not having a patron, yes. I'm not exactly built to fit in. At any rate, he's dead now. More's the pity. Hmm? There we go. Hmm.
Oh, jeez. Sorry, I'm hungry. It occurs to me that I barely know anything about you. Beyond my being a mage from Davinti, you mean? Beyond that, yes. And beyond my being so charming and well-dressed, which is obvious to anyone. I'm well aware of your finer qualities. Believe me. Of course you are. You're a discerning and intelligent woman, after all. Now, what was I talking about? Ah, yes, me. I am the scion of House Parvis, a product of generations of careful breeding and the repository of its hopes and dreams. Naturally, I despised it all. The lies, the scheming, the illusions of supremacy. That's Tevinter in a nutshell, isn't it? Needless to say, my family was not happy with my choices. What did you mean by generations of careful breeding? The great families of Devinta don't have children. They refine traits, weed out the undesirable, and promote the rest. My mother was chosen for my father because magic runs strongly in her blood. Never mind that they loathed each other. They wanted a son who could become Archon to make House Parvis the envy of the Imperium. They got me. A cautionary tale that you should be careful what you wish for. Wow. He does not give a fuck. Why would your family be upset with your choices? Because I rejected their idyllic plan. If they had their way, by now I'd be married to some unlucky girl from a powerful family. We'd live in luxurious despair, despising each other as I waited to take my father's place in the Magisterium. I declined the honor, and thus it's best I'm far from home. Less of an embarrassment that way, you see. Uh-oh. Hold on. I'm trying to fix our uh, volume here. I'm getting the impression that you don't care much for your homeland. On the contrary. I care for my homeland a great deal. There's so much potential. Sadly, we squander it. We refuse to acknowledge how far we've fallen because pretending is easier. We pretend the Canari can be beaten. We pretend that we're superior to everyone, even our own people. Not everyone feels that way. I don't. Sadly, with a minority. It just seems... So much of what you say about the Imperium is entirely negative. It might sound that way. For all our faults, my people have many virtues. We are laden with history and culture. Tevinter is where Thedas truly began, remember? We treasure our past and preserve it. You can walk down a side street and find nothing built during the modern ages. And, despite appearances, we care. Deeply. About everything. We have no reserve, not in war and not in love. If I truly believed my homeland was beyond all hope, I wouldn't miss it so much. Why remain with the Inquisition? Why not go back to Tevinter? <laughs> I'm not exactly welcome back home. Not that it matters, I'm quite accustomed to being a pariah. It adds to my charm. I can do more for Devinter here. If the Venatori succeed, it'll set my homeland back a thousand years. I'm sure some Magisters would disagree, but that's why we kill them. I think I've heard enough. That's too bad. I never tire of talking about myself. Holy crap. Love, please. I love you. Throw it away. I'd like to ask you about Tevinta. Ah, yes. Everyone outside the Imperium always seems quite fascinated by it. Probably why they come up with so many ridiculous tales. 
flying cows over Minrathus. That's <laughs> madness. All right, that one's actually true, but the cows didn't have wings. <laughs> I digress. Anything in particular you wanted to know? Corypheus is a figure out of Tevinter history. He was a magister. Yes, but that was a different time. The Imperium's power was at its peak then. The Civil War had ended. The Magisterium was united, its armies scooping up bits of Thedas like candy. The Magisters who entered the Black City. It was a demonstration of how exceptional Tevinter had become. Mm. But who were they? No one knows. There's no record of a Magister named Corypheus. All this happened 1400 years ago, before the Blight nearly wiped us out. There are no records. Today, people half believe it's all just a story. And that's what I believe. We have evidence the story is very much real. But not who Corypheus is. If he even remembers. There used to be families who claimed some of those magisters as their own. That stopped when the Chantry appeared. Okay. Then it was shameful, and the families distanced themselves from the tale. All we know is that some men and women entered the Black City looking for the old gods. What did they find? According to Corypheus, <laughs> nothing. And only he could tell us more. There's an Imperial Chantry, isn't there? With its own Divine. You people aren't supposed to talk about the Black Divine, are you? If you mention him outside the Imperium, people make that face. Like you're urinating in public. But yes, we do have the Chantry, or a version of it. Night and day comparing it to yours. Do you really call him the Black Divine? <laughs> we don't call him that, oh no. In the Imperium, he's the true Divine. The woman sitting on the Sunburst throne is some backwater pretender. It all stems from a disagreement over Andraste. Marvelous, isn't it? Why would they disagree over Andraste? It's not my field of expertise, but the Imperium believes Andraste was a mortal woman, a mage. Down south, they say, no, she's the bride of the Maker, ascended to his side, divine provenance, a blah, blah, blah. We feel better believing Andraste was one of us. Makes executing her less damning, you see. So we elected a man as divine, the south declared war, and we've been feuding cousins ever since. <laughs> Okay. That sounds terrible. So, the Imperial Divine is always a man. All the better to distinguish him from that other one, yes. Don't think there aren't a number of female Magisters who bristle at that. Why can't they be Divine after all? Same reason you never see a man on the Sunburst throne. Because that's how it's always been done. Excellent reasoning. Do you consider yourself Andrastian? Ah. The big question. It might surprise you that I do consider myself Andrastian. I simply do not believe in the Chantry. It is a relic, whether back home or here in the south. Something from a bygone age desperately clinging to relevance. It's not an opinion that makes me popular. I'm not surprised. It's not an opinion you should share. You did ask, if you recall. I'll say this. I may not believe in the Chantry, but I believe in you. In me? That the Maker sent you, whether through Andraste or fate, Cassandra is not wrong. You are what we needed most at the moment we needed it. You're getting ready to vacuum? That's what they will okay. say in ages to come. Go on. Go on silent, guys, on the mic. Getting ready for the vacuum. Silence! I kill you.
You don't seem like the religious sort, to be honest. If you define religious as sitting in a chantry and listening to a blithering hen tell you how to live, then no. If you define it as believing in the possibility that something larger than yourself exists, then yes, by all means. The world is bigger than I, even bigger than you. It laughs at all the things we think we know. The Maker doesn't need me to believe, but I do. The thought of no one at all watching out for us is too frightening. Let me ask you something else. So many questions. I'm wondering if the Imperium would be a useful ally. I'd think you'd be more concerned whether or not they'd support the Venatori. They won't, of course. At least, not officially. They'll disavow all knowledge of dangerous cultists. Secretly, many Magisters will rejoice at the idea. And if the South falls to chaos in the meantime, all the better. It would be in the Imperium's best interest to help. Surely it could use allies. I think the Imperium gave up on the idea of allies a long time ago. We've been fighting the Canari for what? 200 years off and on? It's a point of pride that we go it alone. They'll sneer at the South behind their silk handkerchiefs and say, You've had it easy for far too long. Let's not forget that the Inquisition seems to be an arm of the Orlesian Chantry. Anathema so far as they're concerned. We're not part of the Chantry. The Chantry opposed the Inquisition's formation. You think that matters? Don't be silly. The Herald of Andraste. Your very title smacks of the Southern Chantry. You may as well be a heathen. I think they're far more frightened what you'll do if you succeed. Just how often is blood magic used there? Oh, not at all. Not at all? That's what any Magister would tell you. They'd be convincingly offended by the notion, too. Of course, what people call blood magic here, and what we consider blood magic, are two different things. What's considered actual blood magic in Tevinter? Blood magic isn't inherently dangerous. Using your own blood or that of a willing participant, what's the harm? The problem is that what's permitted only gets you so much power. And what if you need more? You always need more. That's where we get into sacrifices and demon summoning. None of that is done. Not officially. Behind closed doors, it's a different story. Real blood magic can give you an edge. A leg up against your opponents. It's safe to assume that any mage of rank does it. The rest are quietly shut out of power. To put it bluntly. You'd think the Templars would object. I imagine they did, long ago. Once, their investigations might have been sincere. Then their balls were cut off. Too inconvenient. Nowadays, only the friendless are accused. And most of them probably innocent. There must be some mages who oppose this. Of course. I do. And I'm not entirely alone. Occasionally, there'll be a Magister who makes noise, and then the reform talk begins. All very patriotic. Meanwhile, that Magister will be quietly shunned. Chances are, surprise, it's learned he was a Maleficar all along. Most learn to keep quiet. Me? <laughs> I enjoy the allure of pariahood. That's all I wanted to know. Fair enough. I should go. I do rather like watching you leave. All right. We got to learn some really cool stuff. Plus, all the vacuums done. You acquitted yourself well enough in the game, my dear, and now you have the gratitude of an empire. Well done. Do you think that you and I might someday... I don't see how that benefits me in the slightest, my dear. 
Yes. Well, he only likes guys. That ridiculous drop. And she takes it like a champ. What? Remote? Where's what? Okay. Gee, my bad. I just reheard the uh thirty second delay. I meant she only likes guys. Vivian only likes guys. What? I don't know. I don't see it up here. Did you take it upstairs at all? We got 48 slots. Wow, look at all them accessories. Alright, anyway. Let's get the hell ba out of here and back into where we were at. the exalted planes aren't we yep or not yeah there are the exalted planes what am I thinking No, I don't. You just happen to be a terrible finder. I said I don't suck. You just happen to be a very terrible finder. Time to jump into the river and walk all the way there.
revealed symbol show what appears to be Dirthamon, the elven god of secrets, on the back of a large crow. Looks like part of a larger set. Scribbled message. Rosalie, you arrived while I'm out foraging. I left the herbs you asked for in the left, in the cleft of the rock near camp. Get started on brewing and I'll see you for supper, rabbit. Oh, rabbit? The cost of this war is staggering. Alright, here we go. Oh, crap. Do 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 do. Wiggle wiggle wiggle. Nug nugs are my favorite thing to kill. Oh, nug nugs. Yeah. I hear you. <laughs> the little piggies. Do 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 do. Do you like at work, uh, crazy one? No, it's 2.36 in the morning. Man, if it's 2.36 in the morning, where where are you, if you don't mind me asking?
thought Meg Nuz looked like a naked rabbit, but people said it looks like a pig, and I live in the UK. What are you playing as, dude? Um, I am playing as, uh, female. We're gonna go sword and board. So that would be the rogue? No, not the rogue. Um, what was that? Uh, well, we're doing weapon and shield. Warrior, there we go. I did a... Don't mind me, uh, my mutterings. I uh, did a 24-hour stream. I ended uh, yesterday at 5 p.m. And I started the day before for New Year's. And I slept only like four hours, so I'm still really out of it. Give me a second. I'll be right back. We'll just mute the mic. Quick. Where? I have two characters. Nice. Which ones do you have? You hopped in to say hi on New Year's. I, I did see that. That was, uh... There was a bunch of you guys that did that. Uh, three or four of my good buddies came in. And I was like, oh, hey! Oh, they're gone. <laughs> and then, uh, another streamer I watch, uh... He's a good buddy of mine. His name's Blood Crow on here. And I host him from time to time. He hosted me for 54 viewers. Those... Viewers turned into 54 almost viewers because he hosted me and then derped out by logging out before the viewer count took place and I didn't get any one person at all. So I had 54 almost viewers. It was, we laughed more about it than anything. I couldn't even be upset. Yeah, babe. What is that? Mushroom? Ah, we don't need mushroom. I have a female dwarf handed, two handed, and a rogue art. I? Oh, human. I had a girlfriend next to me, and she offered something that I didn't. Yeah, yeah. 
So anyway, you know, I mean, I know I cussed, you know, cup, you know, here and there, but not often. So we try to keep the page uh, PG-16. <coughs> we try to keep the page PG-16 as much as possible. Well, it's official. My nose is clogging up. Gotta love allergies. Ancient Elven Glyphs. Field symbols show a hawk and a hare chasing. Is this your second character? Uh, actually, I made a guy, and honestly, I gotta agree with Burke Black. It just was not appealing to me. However, I will sit down, I'll make a I'll probably make a random guy just to go through the game and see the other uh, character reactions. And we'll probably do that at a way later time due to the fact that I'm already putting I'm putting in quite a few hours on just this this run alone. Obsidian, I got quite a bit. Grab this.
It's telling how quickly even the most peaceful area can descend into chaos. I'm going with the intelligent, witty, politically correct character type at the moment. I hear you. I'm just going with whatever I choose. There it is. Ancient Elven Glyphs. The revealed symbols depict a pair of hands cupped around the moon. Must be a nice moon. Go. I hate my nose. Scattered glyphs, huh? Does your character believe in the maker? Yes. There is a maker. We just don't know if it's aliens. Something else. <laughs> ah, it's gotta be up here. Okay, bedtime for me, dude. Nice talking to you again. Hey, it's good to hear from you, man. Feel free to follow me and uh, keep checking me out. Who knows? We both might get surprised by stuff that happens on stream. <laughs>
Field symbols show two ravens. One grips a heart in its talons, the other a mirror. That looks like all of them. I'll see what the researchers of Skyhold make of this. Here we go. We're gonna try and take out this rift. Cause we're riffing it, bro. All getting fucked up today. I'm injured. Think.
Wow, we almost didn't make it, guys. Ooh, a trail of goodies. We need the health pots anyway. Let's mute ourselves or nose. We're going to take two more of our allergy <sighs> Let's hope it gets better. All right. What is it? You may want to look into this. All right, we just dragon board. Um... There we go.
used to be beautiful here. What? Oh wow, I gotta give a shout out to a buddy. Please jump on his stream. Yep. His stream's going right. Game it's Chikoro using my bot account. Oh, we activated. Let's take the last couple bites of our food real quick. Burke is about to start. Yes, Orthan, I know. I've got an hour and a half to go. Yep, just like my friend Orthon said, I'm a streamer now. <sighs> Took care of this place. <coughs> That was unexpected. I didn't even have time to prep for that one. Let's see what else is um gonna get back to it cuz uh I can chit chat with my friends all day if I had if if I would you know sit here and do this besides I gotta make up 
for lost time at the beginning of our stream. We started a half hour late. We end a half hour late tonight. And it's it's not it's it's not really often that I can do that. Oh. Weird. Is he trying to summon a demon? Uh oh. This kid got roasted. Look. He's just dead. Roasted. Now everything else isn't uh, close to anything, so we're going to fast travel back here. Brother. Please, if you see my brother out there, tell him to return to camp. I'm sorry, but I found your brother. What? What do you mean, sorry? Where is he? No, he's not. I have his belongings. Is this... is this all that's left? Did you learn nothing else? Um... He was brave, trying to reclaim a relic of the Dalish. I know. I always knew he was brave and clever. He didn't have to prove himself. The clan loves him. Howen loves him. I wish he'd understood that. Thank you for bringing me the news. Hey, Diana. It's better than not knowing. Well, good to see you too. I found this talisman. I think your brother was looking for it. You should have it. Linda Rani's talisman. It it exists. Her sword, Evan Nura. <laughs> no problem, Diana. In the story, her talisman was saved and hidden. This means so much to my people. Thank you. Ooh. What? We can use the store now? You seem fascinated with our camp. Do you have anything to trade? Take a look if you like. You seem fascinated with our camp. Do you have anything to trade? Take a look if you like. 
Where? Oh. Wow. Back to the other channel, but I will pop in the future now that I know you're streaming too. Oh, thanks, Diana. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. It's always good to see a friendly face. Ciao. Yep, ciao. There's all sorts of stuff, but I do not have the money for it. Greetings to you. The I can go to the store. Fair travels, Lethalan. You will always be welcome here. It's good to see you again. Good to see me again, huh? Another time. It's good to see you again. Damn it. Another time. I just don't know what to say. This is awesome. Uh, friends are coming in and checking things out. And I'm having a blast. And I mean, there, there's nothing better than that. Having a blast, seeing your friends, seeing new people, and building a community. Give me a second, we're gonna blow our nose. Um, 
new though. Get from here? Yeah, we can. Holy crap. A little like Rael. Wonder what happened here. That hurt my rib. Oh.
Oh. Oh man. There's like something here. It must be up top. Right there the whole time. Oh, I know what that sounds like. Played like a day and a half of Far Cry and I'm getting ready to upload that video. I was trying to do it today. And uh, basically I'm uploading the video of when I had problems with Dragon Age. I had problems with Dragon Age uh, working properly and it turns out it was simple. Through PC Gaming Wiki, I found out, and it was so easy. And, uh, basically, we went down, like, an hour into the stream, so we streamed, uh, Far Cry 4 for a little while. And then that was it. That was the end of our day. Basically, it was uh, something to do with, oh yeah, we had to turn off uh, the Origin Overlay, which when you go into Origin and you go to select your game, just right click, look at like game properties or whatever, and you can turn off the, the Origin Overlay. Basically, it's forcing Origin to always be going while you use the game, and there's no point, no point whatsoever. If you have a... a a low-end computer that's not suited for high, uh, you know, high graphics and high, uh, memory usage. There is no point in having to do all that. Especially with Origin. It should work like Steam, where it doesn't use a lot of memory. Because I've had no problems since 
uh, since I fixed it. Burke Black Buddy, I see that you're playing the Kerbal Space Program. I will come check you out after the stream. Ooh, loot! Loot! Get it! Get that loot! I remember that catch of an Everest River. Somewhere down there. Guessing because we've already been that shrine. Also, anyone trying to read all the stuff that I pick up, if I don't read it right away, don't worry. Feel free to check out the video on uh, Steam as soon as I get the upload to it. I'm like, t I'm like two-ish days, like two-ish streams behind now. And uh, I'm trying to get all the videos up. So it is already a work in progress, so no worries there. Also, another good thing, uh, we do have a major improvement to our stream. Um, I went and bought games already during the Steam sale, was super excited. Uh, what awesome news I have is uh, at 100 followers, we can do a giveaway raffle. Oh yeah, giveaway raffle at 100. And then we'll have our new goal. We did buy our own uh, Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth. 
I'm excited is because the game itself looks cool. So still no clue how to play. I, I started checking out and then I had to go like 20 minutes into it. And that was just me still reading tutorial and figuring it out. Cause like I don't care about the old civilization stuff anymore anymore. There's enough of those games. Not to mention Sid Myers has done it like done it all. I wanna see like Beyond Earth. I wanna see space adventures, space space planet takeover, stuff like that. You know, like how Mass Effect was. Mass Effect was awesome. I love those games. Uh, my buddy has them on his PC now, like the original hard copy discs. He has them. Uh, like a physical copy. He has he has a physical copy of Mass Effect, which is freaking sweet. Uh, sorry, I didn't mute my stream. It was just really annoying. Yeah, we took the grappling hook in case they decide to get away. Hmm. Only magic and status effect increases your own spells damage and barrier gen. Spirits now protect your allies for a short time and do incoming damage. Fighting them. Yep. Doing it now. Andra. There we go. Got people with extra skills in a class that is no longer their own. Like multi class. Let's go beat these guys up. They probably got the keys.
You cannot go shirtless in front of the preeminent nobles of Orlais. Let us see. Hey, I had a shirt in Halamsharal. In Halamsharal, you are a blade of cheap iron. When I am done, you will shine like a gleaming dawnstone saber. A purple coat, tight at the waist, slashed with silver, emerald accents. Open at the collar to accentuate your chest. Every woman will want you. Every man will want to be you. Well... All right. Tell me more about the coat. <laughs> he wants the coat now. Oh. That's awesome. Victory at last! Coming closer. That was a brilliant show, Inquisitor. My men had barely been keeping the horde at bay. Bastien Pru, Marshal of the Grand Duke's forces here in the depths. I've cleared out the dead from the western ramparts. You did? Make us breath. There's hope for us if the ramparts have been reclaimed. I'd alert our forces stationed outside the dales, but the chaos makes it difficult for missives to get through. Demons. Those blasted freemen, or whatever they call themselves. I've heard something of the freemen of the dales. What do you know about them? They're a mob of traitors. Too soft for war. Thought it was a skirmish or two, then back for supper. <laughs> Turns out it wasn't. And off they run for the first person to tell them their tantrums are acceptable. Now they want independence. To establish a new settlement is ridiculous. The war is over. Gaspard will never be emperor. What? It can't be over. We can still fight. The throne is Gaspard's by right. No. It is done. And we will face justice for supporting the usurper. Why have you barricaded yourselves in here? We had to retreat from the Western Front. The demons and undead were too much. But it's no better here. My patrols don't return. Messages are lost. I've had no word from the capital in weeks. If we could... Regain our outposts, the ramparts, or even the garrison by the river. We can't just keep hiding. I want to die like a soldier, not cowering under a bed, praying the monsters don't get me. I hear you, man. I hear you. I shall take my leave. Be well.
tired of waiting alone. Darn it. I can't believe this. Oh yes. My laptop's not recognizing me signing in to So mages in the circle really have to defend themselves against a demon. As part of our harrowing, we must prove we can defend against possession and are thus no danger to the world. All right, guys, be right back. Don't I gotta worry, go check the dear. clothes. Should we encounter demons, I will protect you.
<sighs> you find some of the weirdest games through a Twitch stream giveaway. After all the battles, this area is quite chaotic. We should be careful. Oh, there it is. Demons are coming closer. I hate waiting to die. I hate waiting to die. Have you seen any of our fallen men out there? Have many of you fallen? What you see is all that's left. We were a thousand strong once. The worst part is not knowing what happened to the men who don't come back. Deserters? Or dead? If they're dead, we've nothing to tell their families. Nothing to send home. Good yep. luck to you. Way more stuff just opened up. Okay. Let's just rush to that other campsite. What the fuck just happened to it? I hate waiting to die. Stay mode. Still too high. Uh, that too. Stay sharp.
Apparently camp's like right here. We could send men to clear this out, if you want. Looking at maybe going back. Yeah, we're going to go back. After we look at some of these, we're right in the area of one. Unfortunate soul. Fast words. A well worn piece of paper clearly folded and unfolded numerous times. Things I would do on my return. Have roast boar and wine at the Black Swan. Sounds good. Visit, visit or not at the Gilded Lily. Play Wicked Grace. I'm in a lake less steam like I used to as a child. I'm gonna guess naked. Sometimes focusing on this list is the only thing giving me... That's sad.
Back to Skyhold. Headache goes away. Yes. How do you stay so civil with everyone, Josephine? Bonds of circumstance among the nobility are fickle. Civility is the only constant everyone admires. And I do deplore rudeness in those who know better. Does it even become a strain sometimes? Well... It can be trying. There is no shortage of self-regard among the nobility. The game can be wearying, discouraging, and extremely baneful. But honestly, I'd miss meeting people. I've made the most fascinating friends. One good thing about becoming Inquisitor has been meeting so many different people. I'm pleased. I imagine we appear a strange bunch to those outside our circle. Mages, Templars, Seekers, and an apostate elf are not often found working in harmony. Or at all. What do the people make of us? There's scarcely a noble house that hasn't openly pledged its support to us. That's good to hear. Let's speak later. Farewell. How high does it... I'm, I'm actually curious. I'm gonna look up how high the influence rating actually goes because I know that's part of your tabs for your different sections but if it maxes out then I've been making poor live choices because I want to max out a couple oh we even have a perk holy crap I have requests for information on your lineage from a few interested parties at the Winter Palace and trust they preserve me. Feel free to use those requests as kindling. No, I shall take them. I want wow. to know who pines for our commander. We can use this to our advantage. I am not bait. Hush, just look pretty. I'm gonna mute my stream real quick for myself. Ooh. Oh, not that one. Locate weapon of Kirda Brightaxe Inquisitor. I've 
no idea what to say. Scholars have debated whether Tirida's legendary axe was an axe set with crystal, an axe with a magically reinforced crystalline head, or perhaps even just a very polished axe. But apparently the word translated from the ancient language commonly taken to be axe in fact merely means afted weapon. It is impossible that translations of the saga have been edited to omit evidence that Tirida Bright Axe may have been using what seems from all appearances to be a staff, as would more commonly be used by a mage. I apologize for my confusion in this matter. I will endeavor to be more diligent in my translations in the future. Yours, Sister Dorcas Gurin. Nice. We got a weapon out of it. <laughs> I'll notify the Sutherland, Sutherland boy. They'll have minor sanction to request resources for patrols. Inquisitor. Investigate the Lord. Investigate Lord Enzo of Antiva. Offer from the crows. Ooh. Well, we're gonna accept it anyway. We'll read this. Ooh. Oh. A lever, lever, a letter delivered to Skyhold. Its sender claims to be a member of the Antiven Crows, an infamous guild of assassins. We encountered your agents in Persinia. Seems the Inquisition and the Crows share a target. Our employer bears no love for Lord Enzo due to, well, let's just say it's a personal matter, of course. I imagine that your motivations have more to do with the man's Tevinter friend. You know the Venatori. We know Enzo. Why compete for the man? Lend us your knowledge and the job will be done far more quickly. You eliminate an enemy, our employer removes a political rival, and we get paid. Happy ending for all involved. Operating with the Antiven Crows works to our advantage. They have more knowledge of Enzo. We can gain contacts should we need their assistance in the future. Inquisitor. Heck yeah. Doing it. Friend to the Merchants Guild. Another one? An unsent letter from Vark waits in the war room addressed to Jarek Dace. Denerum Merchants Guild. Derek, I need a key to the Merchants Guild cipher from one month ago, and you still have payments left on the loan house Tethris gave you for your rescue mission to M. Garak. I think we can make a deal. I get the cipher and your debt disappears like financial magic. And Nightingale, since I know you'll open this and read it before it gets sent, don't bother to keep a copy. The guild changes their codes every month because dwarves are naturally paranoid. Let us begin. Okay. That still gives us all the stuff in Orlay. Oh. My agents were successful. Our dwarven warrior, Corbin, led a foray into the College of Magi and emerged with both the mage refugees and whatever artifact could be transported. All before the Navarran mobs finally stormed the gates. If the Venatori were behind this, they have been disappointed, and the refugees expressed their relief and their thanks for the rescue. Awesome! Awesome!
Okay. Next has to Gillen Nain's Grove. Investigate the Elven Glyphs. Whoa, who's this? Ah, connections. One of our mages, Dalish elf named Cillian, believes he may be able to translate the glyphs, provided we grant him the needed contacts. Elven glyphs discovered in the Dales might prove valuable. Cursory inspection suggests they predate the room which they were found, possibly transferred onto the stone from a much older edifice that dates back to the original Elven Nation or even earlier. Nice. Right, it required some gifts to several Dalish clans, kind of along the Waking Seacoast, but Stillian was able to get the text he needed to translate the glyphs. He claims they are a kind of map showing a location to an ancient temple dedicated to Durthamon. Elven God of Secrets. He has provided us the location, but it should be noted we're not the first to investigate these glyphs. A group of treasure hunters evidently mentioned them several years ago, though they have not been heard from since. Oh, snap. Boss fight. Grades do we got? Alright. We are getting out of here and back over to Exalted Plains. Oh crap. That's what I get. That's some good tea. Alright, time to go throw some ice in it. Be right back.
sorry about that. We're back. Almost that time. Oh, what happened on Facebook? Oh, wait, like Facebook, I can see. Okay. Uh, where? No? That is a bit overlay. What do you mean, uh, Juco? Oh, because I'm like overlaying on top of Blackwall's face right there. That's going to end up being my face uh, as of tomorrow. Oh crap, I forgot volume. I use my uh, headphones because I don't actually, like my computer has, my monitor has speakers built into it. They're just way too loud. And besides uh, Juco, right there where chat's at, I wanted to just do something, it was just that color. Oh. We are going to go to the far destination. Here.
Well, guys, we... We're gonna save. Let's get into a safe saving zone. Alright, guys. We are done here for now. Until tomorrow! Again, 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today, I went over, I was grocery shopping, was running a little late, so I made up for it by staying on until 11.30. However, guys, feel free to follow me down there on that little heart button. It should be, like, over there. And then, uh, also as well, feel free, if you missed streams, go to my YouTube channel. Please check it out. It is my, it's basically my stream central. So if you missed it, 
or you wanted to find something to highlight, or you wanted to rip my video, make highlights, and send them to me, feel free to do that. Um, I'm in the I'm in the position to need moderators, to need people who want to do highlights, who want to be here to do game giveaways. I have games to give away, so feel free to come back. Also, if you are looking for notifications, check uh check my Facebook page and my Twitter page. They're linked down below. And uh, we will more than gladly click follow or friend request if you send one. And if there's things you see you want to tweet or retweet or you want to grab my attention, send it to me. Let me know. I'll retweet you. It's, it's the only thing I know how to do. Tweet, retweet, accept friend requests, and follow you. <laughs> Uh oh, kids got stuff in my in my keyboard. Oh no! All right, guys, this is Game Key Games. We've had a lot of fun. We're out. <laughs>